Hey guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'm going to show you how to replicate the look that a disposable camera produces. So if you've ever seen photos that have a green tint, maybe a lot of noise, a vignette, that type of stuff, these are typically produced by disposable cameras. At the end of the video, you guys can check the description for a free preset that I'm going to create in this tutorial. If you're on Lightroom Mobile, you can still follow along with this tutorial. Lightroom on mobile is basically the same as on desktop. I'm also going to leave just the settings in the description just in case you don't want to download the preset or if you're on mobile. So if you guys enjoy this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button and let's get straight into it. So right here we got a photo and the reason I chose this photo was for two reasons. It's at nighttime and flash was used. Typically people like to use disposable cameras at night and with flash on and it typically looks better by doing that. So I'm just going to get straight into it. The look we're going to go for is a very faded green look. So the first thing I'm going to do is lower the highlights. We're going to be upping the whites later on and I'm going to show you why. We're going to lower the shadows as well. We're going to increase the whites a lot and we're going to decrease the blacks. So the reason why the whites is so high is because we're going to use color curves or tone curves and we're going to make it less bright later on. So I'm going to change this to RGB. So I think we're good with that. Now we're on tone curves. Basically, we want to lift the bottom up. So this creates a fade. So everything that's black in this photo sort of gets brighter. And if we do the same thing with the top point, but we go down, all the white points get duller. So depending on how strong the flash is or whatever you're trying to replicate, this is going to be lower or the whites is going to be lower. So you can see when the whites is super high up and you lower it, the illusion that it creates is that a flash was pointed right in their face. But obviously um, the flash is never going to be that bright. So we're going to lower it a little bit and increase this a bit. So we want to go for something like this, where the top point is a little bit down and the bottom point is up a little bit. Now we want to change the channel to green. We're not going to touch red. So green, we're going to do the same thing. So you can see what the green does. If you lift it up, all the shadows turn uh, green. You can also probably do this with the split toning and just select shadows as green. But I like uh, using curves because it gives me more control. And we're going to do the same thing with the top right here. We're going to just move it down a little bit. If you move it down too much, it turns like pinkish. I don't like that. We're going to turn it down a little bit. So something like that. Now we're going to go to blues. This is optional. We're going to move this down a little bit. And this point right here, we want to move it right. And basically what moving it right does is changes the green tint. So depending on like what green you're trying to go for, um, you're going to move it more right. So you can see right here, it's what we started with. But the more you uh, move right, it turns like an ugly green, in my opinion. Uh, I'm going to stick around like here, this area. So you can already see the green. Um, if you don't like how the green looks like, you can just adjust the tint. So I'm actually going to go for plus 10. So if we press uh, backslash right here, you can see the before and after. You can also press this right here, it shows the before and after. Now what we're going to do is essentially just add the noise, add the film part of it. I did previous editing to this photo, so there's actually a bunch of sharpening and noise already, but I'm going to just show you guys how you guys can add noise. You want to go all the way to effects and just increase the noise so you can see that. You can increase the size of it, but typically the noise is actually quite small and there's just a lot of it. So you want the amount to be high and the size to be like lower. And so once you're done that, you can also adjust vignetting so you can see what that does. Typically, there's a slight vignette uh, just because the flash focuses on the middle and the outsides don't get the same illumination. Um, so you can adjust that. I wouldn't do it too harsh. I would do it very subtle. So the amount you can do it as much as you want, but everything else has to offset it. So like the edge isn't too hard. Like you can kind of see the vignette. It doesn't seem organic. So we're going to offset it by moving um, the feather all the way to the right. So this is like the smoothness of it. So there, so if we see the before and after, that's essentially it. So you can follow this on any editing app that allows you to um, adjust curves. If it doesn't allow you to adjust curves, you can even adjust uh, with split toning or even more basic than that. You can just go to tint and make it green and add noise. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button and let me know if you want more videos like this and any particular style you want. Hit the thumbs up button. My name is Steven and I'll see you in the next one.